When end users log into the platform, they're going to see what you've deployed in front of them on their dashboards. You have the option to create multiple dashboards for different users or groups. Here's an example of an HR dashboard. So the HR members in our HR group would be assigned to this one. And we've named it employee portal. And I can submit several different requests just by clicking on these buttons here. So I'll show you here, click request time off and it launches the process. We also have added the option on this dashboard for users to be able to view their current tasks. So anything that they are assigned at that time. So here are the tasks that I'm assigned right now. And then down below, we can see my request, which is different. It's all the requests I have submitted myself. You can see that I submitted a leave request. If I click on the request ID, it'll bring me right to the request detail of the task. I can see the current status. We are waiting on an approval here. And if I go to the flow view, I can have the ability to see a visual of the entire process and where this particular request stands relative to the entire process. You can also see that there's a legend on the right providing details of each color and border and what they all mean. If you hover over the request, you can see a summary. So the task, the current state, the assigned date and the recipients. As an administrator, you can set up these different dashboards for your users. If you have administrator rights, you can edit these dashboards in two different ways. One, you can click on the upper right hand corner on this edit button and it'll bring you right to the editor screen for the dashboard. Or you can hover over the gear icon under dashboards, find the dashboard that you're looking to edit and choose this dashboard layout icon and that will bring you to the editor screen as well. Once you set up dashboards, you would be able to assign these to specific users or groups. And to assign these to them, you would click on the shield icon here under set permissions. And then you would click on this show members icon. And then you are able to add users by clicking this plus sign. And to remove users, you would click the minus sign. If you wanted to filter and find a group, you could use this filter icon and just search on groups like that. There are so many options when creating and using dashboards. You just have to find out what works best for your organization. If you want more details on creating and assigning dashboards, reach out to your customer success team.